Simplify. Write all answers using radical notation. Assume all variables represent positive numbers. The binomial 7 plus the square root of x times the binomial 2 minus 3 square roots of x. Since we're multiplying two binomials, you can use either the distributive property or the method of FOIL. Either way, we would have 7 times 2. Then we would have 7 times negative 3 square roots of x. Then we would have plus the square root of x times 2, which I'll write as 2 times the square root of x. And then we would have the square root of x times negative 3 square roots of x. Now, simplifying each of these, 7 times 2, of course, is 14. 7 times negative 3 would give us negative 21 times the square root of x. Here we just have plus 2 square roots of x. And when we multiply the square root of x times the square root of x, that becomes the square root of x squared. And the square root of x squared is x, so we have negative 3 times x. We can combine these middle two terms, and so we would have 14 and then minus 19 square roots of x minus 3x.